right, you. I'm getting ready to fix supper, and we are going to have um, cheesy potatoes. And we are going to be using our dehydrated potatoes. These were de um, sliced, then um, <laughs> blanched. Sorry, totally lost my thought there. Sliced, blanched, and then dehydrated in a dehydrator. Um, it's in a quart jar. You need four cups, so I'm just going to use what's in this quart jar. And then, of course, we vacuum sealed it with the vacuum sealer. So we're going to start by putting our potatoes into our casserole dish. Let me make sure you can see it. I've already sprayed it with a nonstick spray. Just in case. Then we're going to put our potatoes in, spread them out, and we are going to dot two tablespoons of butter onto the top. So I've got a little bit more than two tablespoons, but that's okay. Um, you're just going to put this across the top course doesn't want to come off and one-handed isn't easy so we'll just chop it up it doesn't have to be perfect Oop. <laughs> that one really come off you're gonna dot this on top you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees these will bake 400 degree, at 400 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. So we've got this done. You're going to need a can of cheddar cheese. Yes, cheddar cheese. I want some onions. So it's kind of up to you if you want them or don't want them. These are just dehydrated onions. I did not dehydrate these myself. I actually bought these. And so we're going to put some onion in there. I don't know that we want all that. Yes, I just put that back in there. My hands are clean. It's all good. Then we need two cups of water, the can of soup, and two cups of milk, which I forgot to get out. Let me grab that really quick. Maybe, hold on, I have an avalanche in here. Okay, sorry about that. You've got to have two cups of milk. There we go. Alright, we'll put that back. And you're going to put all of these ingredients into a saucepan. And we are going to want to bring this to a boil. So there's the two cups of water. I used hot water. You don't have to, it just makes it a little warmer to start. Two cups of milk. And your cheddar cheese soup. We're gonna put that in. I probably should have put that in first so it wouldn't bloop. Didn't think about that too carefully, I guess. I could have done the can shake thing, you know, where you turn it upside down and shake for 20 minutes trying to get it out of there. I just try to get the most I can out of it. No sense in wasting it. You pay enough for it, I'll tell you that. Okay, I think that's about all we're going to get out of there. Alright. Yes, my knife has butter on it, but food isn't going to notice that there's some butter on that. Oh. Okay, so we're going to stir this up until it's smooth. We've added the soup, the two cups of milk, and the two cups of water. There is no salt in here. If you wanted to add some salt, I suppose you could. The soup's normally pretty salty. 
I do add some pepper to it while it's into the soup mix. That's up to you. If I can figure out how to get it open. Hold on. There we go. Whoop, whoop. Oh, yeah, that's plenty, I think. So you're going to blend it until it's smooth, and then you're going to bring this to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, then we're going to pour it over the potatoes, put them in a 400 degree oven, and cook them 25 to 30 minutes, or until your potatoes are um, done, till they're tender. You don't want to take them out if they're still crunchy. Depends on your oven and how well it cooks. So we're going to let this heat up and come to a boil, and then we'll come back. Okay, we have come to a boil. And just remember, whenever you're boiling with milk in a pan, to pay attention to it and kind of, you don't have to hover, but you do have to hover. You have to really be close because once it starts to boil, it will come up and boil over your pan. So, let me get this turned here. We are going to take this mixture. It came to a boil and we are going to make a mess. <laughs> slowly carefully pour this over your potatoes try not to be as messy as i am that's why i have to wear an apron it looks like i had a little bit of soup in the bottom that didn't quite get mixed up i'll have to wipe that off or when it gets in the oven it'll so it's gonna look really soupy sorry i'm mumbling uh it's gonna get really soupy but Remember, these are dehydrated potatoes, so they are going to soak up all that moisture to rehydrate and be cheesy potatoes. Like I said, you're going to bake 400 degree oven, 25 to 30 minutes, and it depends on your oven, how it cooks. You want your potatoes to be tender, fork tender, just like, you know, if you were cooking potatoes any other way. And don't stick your pan in there with bloopages over the side because it will burn and stick on there. So, but there they are. That is dehydrated potatoes made into cheesy potatoes. Hope you like it. Give it a try. Um, a lot of people don't think they can eat dehydrated potatoes, but you know, a ton of people eat those box meals with dehydrated potatoes all the time. So give it a whirl. You might like it. Just wanted to bring you back and show you the end product. The potatoes are done. It needs to set for five minutes to thicken up, so that's why I'm not dipping any out of it. But they are fork tender. Just like if you sliced them up. Like I said, it is runny right now because it does need to set for about five minutes or so to, um, you know, soak up the rest of that water and to rest. And then you can dig right in. I was going to wait and show it to you on the plate, but they're biting at the bit. They're ready to eat. So this is it. But they turn out really well. So you might give it a try.